Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing the weekly challenges we get from today, Tuesday, September 19th, to Monday, September the 25th, 2023. Let's take a look at the weekly challenges we got this week. Now you're going to notice I have quite a bit of score to collect because I'm a Fallout First member and I'm using a couple boosters and I just happen to drink a booster drink, so it's uh, quite high, all right? Now, every single one of these weekly challenges, I have many videos on my channel that will help you out with one. If there's a particular one giving you some trouble, you'll find a video on my channel that will hopefully help you out. All right, so there's a couple here that we can do right in our camp. Let's take a look at this one here. Eat pre-war food 25. So pre-war food includes things like Blamo brand mac and cheese, bubble gum, canned coffee, canned dog food, cotton candy bites, cram, dandy boy apples, fancy lad snack cakes, funnel cake, gum drops. Those are just a few examples of pre war food. Now we have camp resources, and you guys know. Follow me along enough, know that I'm a huge fan of camp resources. They passively collect items while you play the game. If you have the popcorn machine, this is the OG one we got from several seasons ago. There's a Hollywood popcorn machine that if you played last season, season 13, you would have got the Hollywood popcorn machine for all players. Okay. This collects 12 popcorn. Let's grab that. Same thing, I think this was in uh, Season 11. We got this Nuka-Cola Quantum Candy Machine. In addition to the Quantum one, check our resources here. All players would have got this red one, uh, the Nuka-Cola Candy Machine, the red one in Season 11, okay? The red, the bluish purple one is the followed first one, but we can build both of these in a camp, which is pretty awesome, okay? Uh, same thing with canned coffee, but if you have a popcorn machine, just a popcorn machine, you can easily do this. All you gotta do is collect the popcorn and then eat it. All right, let's grab this stuff here while we're here. Let's go to my inventory here, okay? Let's go down here to good old popcorn. We got 39 of them. See there? Eat pre-war food. So let's go ahead and eat a bunch of them. All right. Let's go up here to the Nuka-Cola Quantum Candy. We got from the candy machine. Just like that. Let's go ahead and get this. Uh, whoa. Blammo brand mac and cheese. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Canned dog food. Canned coffee. Bubble gum. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. All pre war food. But these camp resources, if you can get them, buy them. Or check your uh, builder's log, your builder's menu. Go into resources. You might have them. You don't even know it. All right. Highly recommend this stuff. Collects while you play the game passively. Why not? Why not in my mind anyway? All right. That's one down. Easy peasy. Okay. So we did this one in our dailies. Craft bulk aluminum. Of course, we could do that at our Tinker's Workbench. Scrub junk to produce aluminum. I have a couple videos showing you great locations for junk items that will give you aluminum. But seeing how we're crafting at bulk at the Tinker's Workbench, we might as well do that and then scrap it. So these two will go hand in hand. So we just need to craft two more bulk aluminum. Go to our Tinker's Workbench here. Down here to bulk. Bulk aluminum. You must have aluminum scrap and plastic in your stash or scrap box for this to work. Let's go ahead and bulk two more. We bulked the first one during our daily video. There we go. Crap bulk aluminum three for three. Done. That's back out. Now we're going to finish off this one here. Scrap junk to produce aluminum. We're just going to scrap that bulk aluminum we just crafted. Scrap. Scrap the bulk aluminum. Done. Just like that, guys. Scrap junk aluminum. 
scrap junk items to produce aluminum and that we just scrapped the block when we just crafted there. Easy peasy, guys. Couldn't be any easier, man. What else do we got here? What else do we got? Okay, we could... <laughs> these two here will go hand in hand as well. Craft ballistic ammo. Not collect. Okay, if we were able to collect it, we can just go right to our ammo storage box for fallout first, but we actually have to craft it. Craft ammo on a workbench, all right? So as long as you're crafting ballistic ammo and not energy ammo, it will be good. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to use some perk cards here. We're going to craft ammo on a workbench, craft ballistic ammo. The perk cards I like to use is run right down here in agility. Let's take this guy off. It's called Ammo Smith. Produce 80% more rounds when crafting ammunition. Take one of these guys off here. And in luck, I like to use a uh, perk card called Super Duper. When you craft anything, there's a 30% chance you'll get double results. Okay, highly recommend those two cards. So let's take a look at our Tinker's Workbench here for a second. Okay, we're going to go Ammo. Let's craft the ammo that we're going to use, obviously. So 5-5-6. Five, five, so 20 rounds, 5-5-6, five, five, without any special perk cards. 4 gunpowder, 6 lead, 12 steel. Now let's go ahead. We're going to perk those uh, perk cards on. The under agility is going to be the ammo smith. Okay, that's what's going to give us 80% more ammo. And we're going to put the super duper perk card on. And hopefully we'll have a chance to uh, get more. More bang for our buck. Okay. Go under Tinker's Workbench again, craft, craft of ammo, there we go, 5.56, five, so instead of 20 rounds, it's 36 rounds for the exact same required material, 4 gunpowder, 6 lead, 12 steel. Highly recommend those cards, guys. Let's go ahead, I'm just going to craft uh, one set at a time, hopefully we'll hear the super duper uh, prick card pop up. Craft Ballistic Ammo, 65 for 65, okay. So, okay, so you hear that lightning sound? That's the super duper perk kicking in. Alright, so we would have got more rounds for that set that we just crafted. It doesn't work all the time, but there's a chance. A slight chance. And if you got the card, why not use it, right? Craft ammo on the workbench, 250 for 250, done. It only works, it only worked for us the one time, the super duper, but that's okay. You have better luck sometimes than, than other times. Just don't forget to put the prick cards back to the way you had it. I'm uh, really bad for that. <laughs> Forgetting all about it. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, what's next here? What is next? What else can we do? Drink Nuka-Cola, 25. So, this week in the Atomic Shop, we've been talking about it for months. Every time it comes up, either to collect Nuka-Cola, or drink Nuka-Cola orange, or whatever, I always talk about this Nuka-Cola Collectron Station. Right now, it's in the Atomic Shop for Fallout First. You can buy it. I'm not too sure how much it is, because I've owned this for a very long time. I think it was... Oh, gosh, season four or five or something like that. I, it's been around for a while. Highly recommend it. I can't stress. So you can buy it from Samuel up in Foundation. I think it's like 1200 or, yeah, 1250 gold bullion. If you're a certain level with the settlers, like uh, Cautious or something like that. You can buy it for Adams here this week. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. If you If you can do it, buy it. Highly recommend it. I have one in every single of my camps except for the brand new one. So I'm uh, trying to prove something out. Um, on another note. So I got this uh, Nuka-Cola Quantum one. We got this one in Season 11. So he's under resources. So there's the OG one. There's the one that's on for sale. The one I have in most of my camps. Okay, highly recommend them. You can only build one per camp. This is the one we got in Season 11. Now, I don't like this one as much because it collects nuclear waste and uh, bottles and purified water and other stuff. All right. I highly recommend, though, the OG one. If you can get it, get it. All right. 
Let's back out of here. So we're going to go to my camps. We're going to see all the stuff I can get. So this guy here, Nuka-Cola Quantum 2. So there you go. Nuka Cherry, Nuka Wild, Nuka Grape, Nuka-Cola 2, Nuka Cranberry. We're pretty lucky here. Let's go ahead and grab them. And he's not even locked up, is he? Why aren't you locked up, bud? Huh? Why aren't you locked up? Oh, he must be locked up. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Hard to believe he's not locked up. Anywho. Huh! So there you go. How about that? Alright, let's go to uh, this spot up here. The all-in-one camp. We'll activate that camp. We'll fast travel over there. Now I have five camps all together. The newest one I have down in Cranberry Bog. Um, uh, there's another collector we got off the scoreboard. I'm just trying to... Uh, just testing him out. So I can make a video. So here's the OG one that's on for sale this week. This guy right here, you guys have heard me talk about him enough. What do you got on Nuka Cherry, Nuka Orange, Wild Grape? Three Nuka Cola Cranberry, look at that, and Nuka Cola Bottle. Love it. Love it. So you see how much I'm getting just from these Collectron stations. But even if you only have one camp, okay, even if you only have one camp and you have one of these guys, it doesn't take long for him to fill that up. Okay, so this weekly challenge that we have this week, okay, drink Nuka Cola. If you don't want to go out and find it, okay, you can just easily just wait, collect a couple times from this uh, Collectron station, and it'll be done in no time, okay? Let's go to another one down here. Let's activate him. Not too sure if it'll let me. Yeah, well, okay. Let's fast travel down there by Camden Park, my other camp. This is probably my oldest camp that I have. And it's so big, I, I, I can't bring myself to destroying it. It's so, so big and so much. <laughs> what do you got? Cherry, two orange, a grape, cranberry, four bottles on them, okay. But you guys get the joint. You guys get the point of it. Highly recommend those Nuka-Cola Collectron stations. Now, if you can't afford any of that stuff, Nuka World on Tour, I have many great videos. Nuka World on Tour is a great spot to collect Nuka Cola. It'll just be cranberry and cola for the most part. But I have many videos showing you that this is a great spot, Nuka World on Tour, to grab uh, Nuka Colas, okay? So let's go ahead. We collected enough here, so I'm just... All it's going to do is just weigh me down on top of everything else I carry. <laughs> let's go ahead and drink these Nuka Cherries. I like to say the regular Nuka Cola classics because I like to make Nuka grenades out of them. There we go. Drink Nuka Cola 25 for 25. Done. Done. Done like last night's dinner. As you can see, I have one of these guys in every every single one of my camps here. <laughs> yeah. Resources. You can't. I can't stress it enough, guys. Resources are king, man. Just easy peasy. They make your life a lot easier. Let's see what else we got here. For weekly. Okay. Got some good stuff here. No Mylurks, so that's good. Holy jeez, Mylurks are taking a beating there lately. <laughs> claim a workshop, three. So you would have saw me collect one, or sorry, claim a workshop in the uh, the daily video I made. And I'm on, I think I'm on the, yeah, so it's right here. <laughs> I'm on the same server. Let's go ahead here to uh, Beckley. It's just close by to my camp. And we'll claim that workshop. Could be any workshop on the map, guys. Whatever's easiest for you. Now, you can't fast travel to a workshop right away until you claim it. FYI. So you have to uh, go to the nearest spot that you have on your map. If you're a newer player, maybe the forest is probably the best spots uh, to claim workshop. We're going to sneak up through here past these uh, robots. We got some more robots up here, apparently. Some robo brains. We're gonna sneak up here and we're going to uh, claim this workshop and take care of these enemies here. And, uh. And, you know, combat inhibitor. 
the other robo brain on the other side of the uh he's fighting the uh, ghouls that are over there oh missed him Did that cripple him hey where are you going don't hide behind that tree there robo brain you give all your robo brain friends a bad name there <laughs> let's hide behind this tree you won't see me back here All right, let's claim this workshop. 25 caps, sure. Let's see what this guy's got on him. All right. As I said, any workshop anywhere, do what's easy for you. I just give you guys some ideas. Alright, so there's our second workshop. The first one again, I claimed up here for the daily video that we made, right here at Billings Homestead. Alright, uh, let's go up here to uh, Tyler County Fairgrounds, we'll fast travel to my survival tent and then we'll shoot on over because it's a free fast travel. Save a little bit on caps anyway. You guys would have seen me put a make a video on this bad boy. Go to this ammo storage. Drop this stuff off. Love it. Love this. <laughs> Love this survival tent. All right, let's go to Camden. Or sorry, Camden Jeepers. Tyler County Fairgrounds. You losing her, Jim? You losing her, buddy? Jimmy, old pal. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, go down here to this uh, workshop here and we'll claim it. Hopefully it's not too uh, busy. Alright, let's clear some enemies. Got a couple ghouls here. Usually there's a couple up here normally. Some parts of this game are still predictable. <laughs> How's your head, bud? Oh, boys! How's my face after him just clawed it off there? Jeez. <laughs> here we go. Let's claim our workshop here. 25 caps, 25. 25 for 25. Huh. How much horsepower does this car have? 25. <laughs> uh. huh. Done. Claim a workshop, three for three. Couldn't be any easier, guys. What else we got here? Kill a floater, 10. All right. We're fairly close to Darling Sister's Lab. Let's pop up there. The spot, uh, Darling Sister's Lab, is a great location for three floaters. Let's get her sneak on here. Usually they're kind of out and about, but uh, not today. Let's get up here. Oh, there's one guy. Lock and load. Shoot, this fella's antenna here. As they say, Darling Sisters Lab, great spot. Great spot for three floaters. Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's go somewhere else. Uh, I'm not a big fan of floaters, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a, not a huge fan of them. Let's uh, fast travel down here to the Rusty Pick. 
just to kind of save on caps a little bit. I've been kind of moving around the map quite a bit lately since I uh, built my latest camp down Cranberry Bog, but... Uh, all right, so let's go down here to the Red Rocket filling station. Uh, another great spot for some floaters, usually three of them. Usually three, they use that term loosely. Because of all the changes we've uh, had lately in this game. Okay, good stuff, I see them. Good stuff. Get up on this bus, that's where I like to kind of perch myself anyway. Shoot this guy in the head. Not a big fan of the uh, menacing one. There we go, there's another three. <laughs> Jeepers, creepers. <laughs> Again, right here, Red Rocket Filling Station, great spot for three floaters. Still, <laughs> which is good. Uh, Grafton's a good spot for some floaters, too. Um, I find it's not as uh, reliable. Sometimes you can find, you know, four or five of them around, but sometimes you'll come across one or two. So Grafton, you will find them, but uh, not all the time. Um, just trying to look around here. I thought it was up here. It's called the big, uh, the big mall. Maybe I'm, uh, Copper Lagoon. Lost Town. Oh, right here. Yeah, there we go. So the big mall. The big mall has six floaters here. All right. So let's, um, let's fast travel here to Fort Atlas. Just to kind of save on caps again. And, uh, We'll fast travel over to the uh, big mall. Now this spot here, it's uh, there's six of them. There's three of them down in a little uh, pit area, and then there's at least three of them up top. Uh, and if you're not careful, they're they'll be on top of you. And uh, I actually had a video of me falling down the pit, so I had six of them coming after me, and it was uh, it was hard to deal with. Let's uh, lock and load here. I'm going to throw a grenade at them. A couple of grenades. It did nothing. The grenades did nothing. So these are level 100, some of them. See what I mean? They're coming for me. Oh, my lord. Oh, yeah. See? See what I mean? Now, just don't uh, fall down that hole and I died. I died. See, I'm not a big fan of floaters anymore because of that. <laughs> because of that. They uh, go right through you like butter. They, whatever uh, flame effect they have, it's, uh, it's brutal and I'm not happy. I'm not happy with it. Yeah, you can harden a game up, make it a little more difficult. Yeah, I get no problem with that, but don't, you know, don't make something, you know, totally overpowered like that. Am I carrying all that stuff? Jeez. <laughs> Take a lunchbox here. Take a scout, scout's banner. Innovation, whatever that means. Fixing stuff, maybe. All right, so that was the three. And as I told you, they, they're they on top of you. And there's the uh, hole. Let's go on this side here. Now, there's three of them that are usually kind of in the water with their little antenna hats uh, popping out there. And uh, you don't want to fall down that. You don't. Level six. Yeah, it's not too bad. Kill a floater 10 for 10. Might as well take care of these cats here because they're on a private server anyway. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. 
big old mess down there of uh, <laughs> colors. All right. Wasn't pretty, but we did it. <laughs> Again, the big maw. Real good spot for floaters, but dangerous. Okay. Dangerous. What else we got here? Oh my lord, just one left? What? Wow. Just flying through them today, guys. That's If you do it the right way, you can fly right through. This is taking me a little bit longer than you could probably do because I'm doing a lot of yapping. <laughs> Kill a Super Mutant 30. All right. Many great spots for Super Mutants across the wasteland. Many, 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 many spots. Okay. Let's go to here. You could all graft and damn. Good spot for... <clears throat> Good spot for super mutants, excuse me. Holy mackerel. Okay. New grenades does nothing to uh, floaters, apparently. Who's there? Your worst enemy. It's uh, good uh, to do something rather than uh, the same old, uh, same old all the time, like Mylurks. Oh, there's the old mutant hound there. Come on, bud. Come on. <laughs> Where's he going? See you later. Have a nice life there, mutant hound. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Pick some good, good stuff up here. These super mutants have a lot of good stuff on them. <laughs> Someone's not happy. Go along here, grab this stuff. Yes, brother. Yes, brother bear. <laughs> Should be coming up those stairs here in a second. No, it was something. Me. It's an awful lot of gur gurgle in there, bud. No uh oh. Where's he? At? Oh, right there. Uh -oh. You mind your business there, bud. Just mind your business. Danger. I don't know what we're in danger for. Maybe someone uh, in the basement. Yeah, I think he's in the basement. You hear him echo in there. Spineless, eh? Where's he at? Yeah, I don't know where that cat went. Anywho, huh? Say what you have to say, then hi, day. I get it. When did we get there? Eight. Good for eight. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's go up here to Graft and Steel. Another great, reliable location for super mutants. Oh. 
Oh, he's right there. Wondering what that was. A super mutant uh, hound friend there. His buddy comes running, charging out there. Take that. And a floater, of course. You just stay there, bud. Run right into that wall there. There's a buddy right through the window there. Huh. <laughs> Look at the carnage. guys here hiding. You did all that to our friends there. We need to hide. This guy here is run Look at him running. Oh, it's uh, one of those guys. <laughs> oh, but this is so much fun. Great way to release some stress. <laughs> Take out a couple super mutants and their hounds. Now those floors on the other hand, yeah, they just gave you stress. We did pretty good there. 17. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. So we got nine of them so far. We're just from uh, Grafton Steel. Yeah, that's right. I can do some math. <laughs> just another pretty face, you know. Oh my lord. Something is shooting at someone. And I need it to be a super mutant. Check the old smelter here. Cat over there. Hide. Let's uh, switch up a little bit here. Caution. We're in the old caution. Ha ha ha. Oh, watch this. Even make that up. I tried. down there. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, low reload. Guts everywhere, his head's blood spewing out of his skull. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to pick those up. Oh. <laughs> There's a door there. Nope. No door there, Jim. Guess again. The old blast furnace here. Okay, they're sleeping on the job. Two more. Is that it? Let's check this door. Something's uh, fighting something. Oh, we're in here already. Arr. All right. Need two more of these guys. Oh, there's a little buddy there. He's running for it. He's making a run. Making a run for it. Why do I only have one bullet in there? Kill a super mutant 30 for 30. Where did you come from? I was just up there. That's weird. Just like that, guys. Just to a couple places. Yeah, it's gonna be more than your head. You're gonna be turning the little bits there to keep it up. Huh? All right. Just like that, guys. Just like that. Like, look. Easy, quick, fast. Get this repeatable one that happens, you know, every so often. Get some lunch boxes into there. Join some uh, teams. Yeah. Yeah, love it. Totally love it, guys. If I could do it, anyone can. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.